back to my channel. Everkum in the channel like the Swagatam. Today also as usual we will be continuing the MCQs of PAC. This is the part 5th session for uh, PAC radiographer. I have already done uh, 4 sessions for PAC radiographers and all those questions I have taken from the PAC bank. So that it will be very easy for you to understand if you are watching all other sessions and if you are watching this fifth session for PAC radiographer. So before moving on to this session, those who wish to join my application, I will be giving the link of my application in my description box. So all the documents for UK registration as well as Kuru registration, CMRT, everything is available in my application. Along with that, not only for radiographers and radiation therapy technologists, this application is open for all the allied health professionals, for example, laboratory, dietitian, uh, physiotherapist, uh, occupational therapist, speech and language. So, if there are any of your friends who wish to go abroad, ask them also to join my application since all the documents for other specialties will also be available in my uh, application then comes about my book uh, those who are planning for this PAC exam it is within two weeks the exam will be coming and those who wish to uh, read the book can purchase from me and the Cost of this book is only rupees one double nine, including the shipping cost. So let's begin today's session PAC for radiographer part five. Moving on to the forty one question. Advantages of cancer screening include the following except option A reduction in mortality, option B reduced number of patients receiving radical treatment, option C over diagnosis of known progressive lesions and option D reassurance of patients whose screening test is negative. So the advantage of cancer screening include the following except so it's answer C over diagnosis of non-progressive lesions. So now let's see the explanation. Cancer screening helps detect the presence of cancer before it spread throughout the body making treatment easier and more effective. The earlier the detection of the presence of cancer, the better are an individual chances of survival. Moving on to the next question, question number 42. Permissible annual radiation exposure limit for a radiation worker is option A 1 millisievert, option B 10 millisievert, option C 20 millisievert and option D is 100 millisievert. The answer is option C, 20 millisievert. Now let's see the explanation. Permissible annual radiation exposure limit for a radiation worker. For the whole body, the effective dose is 20 millisievert per year, average over 5 consecutive years and 30 millisievert, maximum of 30 millisievert in any single year. Moving on to the next question, question number 43. The definitive treatment for gastric cancer is option A surgery, option B chemotherapy, option C radiotherapy and option D hormone therapy. The answer is option A surgery. Now let's see the explanation. Surgery is the common treatment for all stages of gastric cancer. The following types of surgery can be used. Subtotal gastrectomy that is the removal of the part of the stomach that contains cancer, nearby lymph nodes and parts of other tissues and organs near the tumor. Moving on to the next question, question number 44. D max for cobalt 60 gamma rays is option A 1.33 cm, option B 1.17 cm, option C 0.5 cm and option D 1.5 cm. The answer is option C 0.5 cm. Now let's see the explanation. Cobalt 60 
and cesium-137 are the most widely used sources of gamma ray radiation. Cobalt produces gamma rays with energies of 1.173 and 1.332 MeV and has a half-life of 5.27 years. Whereas cesium-137 produces gamma rays with an energy of 0.662 MeV and a longer half-life of 30.1 years. Cobalt-60 gamma radiation typically has energy of about 1.2 MV and Dmax being 0.5 cm. Moving on to the next question, question number 45. Personal monitoring devices include all except option A, TLD, option B, Philip Budge, option C, gun monitor and option D, pocket dosimeter. The answer is option C, gun monitor. Now let's see the explanation. Personal monitoring devices are designed to measure the accumulated external exposure or dose that patient receives over some time interval. Moving on to the next question, question number 46. A radiotherapy simulator, option A, uses X-ray for imaging, option B, uses gamma rays for therapy, option C, is a brachytherapy machine, and option D, all of the above. So, a radiotherapy simulator uses X-ray for imaging. Now let's see the explanation. Radiotherapy simulator is an essential tool for improving the quality of radiotherapy for a treatment of cancer patients. Major subsystems in the radiotherapy simulator are GAN-free, collimator, X-ray tube, imaging unit, patient support or the positioning system that is the couch and remote control console. Moving on to the next question, question number 47. Radiographic film is coated with gelatin layer containing option A, silver halide crystal, option B, silver bromide crystal, option C, both of the above and option D, none of the above. The answer is option C, both of the above. Now let's see the explanation. A modern X-ray film consists of a Radiation sensitive emulsion coated on a transparent polyester base. The emulsion consists of silver halide crystals, typically 95% of silver bromide and 5% of silver iodide and gelatin which provides the suspension medium for the silver halide grains. So the X-ray films are all double coated and the single coated film comes under mammography as well as CT, MRI all those films will be single coated and all the x-ray images are double coated means they will be having two emulsion layer. Moving on to the next question, question number 48. Which of the following uses gamma rays? Option A simulator, option B brachytherapy with iridium 192. Option C, LINAC. Option D, IMRT. IMRT means Intensity Modulated Radiation Therapy. So, the answer is option B, Brachytherapy with Iridium-192. Now, let's see the explanation. Iridium-192 is a radioactive isotope. It is a gamma emitter having a half-life of 74 days. In the medical world, Iridium-192 is most commonly used to fight cancer cells. The iridium source is placed inside the body. This is called brachytherapy. Moving on to the next question, question number 49. Mantle field radiotherapy is used in option A, Hodgkin's lymphoma, option B, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, option C, breast cancer, and option D, thyroid cancer. The answer is option A, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now let's see the explanation. In Hodgkin's disease, a mantle radiotherapy field that creates all lymph node areas above the diaphragm, including the lung, apex and axilla bilaterally. 
rarely used today. The magic field radiation is a type of radiation treatment used for Hodgkin's lymphoma that helped boost cure rates in the 1960s. Moving on to the next question, question number 15. Bragg peak characteristics is utilized in option A proton therapy, option B neutron therapy, option C mega voltage therapy, and option D is electron therapy. The answer is option A proton therapy. Now let's see the explanation. The demonstration of a Bragg peak that is characteristic of proton therapy. Individual proton beam energies are represented by a multiple red curves with higher energy depositing their maximum energy at an increased depth. So with that I am winding up today's session. Hope today's session is more clear. Uh, if you have any suggestions you can uh, put it in the comment box of it or any areas have to be included it can also be shared in the comment box um, so uh, with that i'm winding up hope everyone will be joining my application and purchasing my book um, until then uh, till sunday is the day i used to upload my new new videos if you like all my videos, please don't forget to share among your friends, colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too. So, always be happy, don't be tensed, study well and score nicely and come out with flying colors. Until then, bye-bye.